this is a request video from one of the viewers. So the, basically the question is how to customize what gets displayed on the pop-up menu depending on what I type. So basically the text around the cursor in the buffer, right? So you want to pick and choose what gets displayed in the pop-up menu depending on the text around the cursor. So let's just say if I have a rectangle struct here with some fields and some methods. So when I start a new line, I only want to see variables, for example. So in here, in this case, rect, rect1 and rect2 only. And I don't want to see the other suggestions. And when I press the dot, I only want to see fields and methods associated with that struct. So here, I can even see the fields and methods unless you go down until the very end. So basically what we have to do is filter out the noise from the suggestion. We only want to see what we need to see depending on the context. To filter the list of pop-up items, you can use entry filter in the source you want to apply the filter. First we'll get the kind for the entry. Next, we need to get the text before the cursor. We can use Neuven MPI to get the current line, but CMP already provides that in the second argument. To see the list of things in this context, you can go to the CMP source, then there is context.lua. So if you open it, You can see the age cursor line. You can see it's the current line. And if you want to be more specific, you can use before line for the text before the cursor, after line for text after the cursor. We also need the column position to get the character right before the cursor. So here string sub function with column minus one gets the character before the cursor. So now set up some conditions to compare the dot. And this one matches text in the new line. So person s matches y space. The star meaning it could be many y spaces. Person w is for letters. The carrot symbol and dollar indicates the beginning and the end of the string. I think you don't really need it, but you can add it for clarity. So inside these conditionals, you can return true for the kind you want to include. But make sure to return false for the rest, because I have the return true at the end of the function. So now you can see only rectangle 1 and rectangle 2. And when I press the dot, you can see it's only field and methods and nothing else.